In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how to search for and save images. Uh, and what you need to know before you start this is there are a variety of web browsers you can use to do this. Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Safari, there's a variety of them. Uh, if you would like your interface to work the same way that mine is working, uh, please use Google Chrome. It's probably the most popular one and it's the one that most people use. Uh, so my web browser, not my, this is my internet site, Google, my web browser is Google Chrome. It's this guy right down here. Uh, and it'll work the same way that I'm working it uh, if you're using that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I can find a picture of a strawberry. So I can type in strawberry. And right now I'm getting internet websites for strawberries. I'm going to click on images so it filters to images. And the biggest mistake that students make or that people make when they are downloading images is they save what's called the thumbnail. All of these are thumbnails or small representations of the actual image. If I right clicked on this and did a save image as, I would be downloading a very low resolution photo. It wouldn't have very many pixels in it. It would be blurry if you zoomed in. Okay, so the first thing you need to know uh, is that you need to actually click, left click your mouse on an image if you like it. In addition, if you want to know how many pixels an image is when you click on it, when you hover over the image onto the, in the right hand side here, you're going to see two numbers. And those two numbers, this one says 1600 by 991, that represents how many pixels wide and tall this image is. So being 1600 by 991 means that there's about one and a half million pixels in this picture, which is considered a relatively high resolution picture. Okay, That's a, it multiplies to be about 1.5 million. So uh, a picture here that isn't high resolution, if you look at this Wikipedia strawberry, if I click on it and hover, you're going to see that it's 220 by 243 pixels. That's roughly 50,000 pixels. That's not considered high resolution. Uh, and there's actually filters in Google that allow you to only see high resolution pictures. I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, so if you go up to the top of Google Images and go into the tools, there's a filter at the top here called size. If you filter the size to be large, then that will ensure that all of these pictures are at least 1 million pixels. Okay, so you'll notice that the Wikipedia strawberry no longer exists here because it wasn't what's considered a large quality picture. Okay. Uh, next, when you're downloading the pictures, you might run into a couple of issues, and these just have to do with copyright uh, issues. And I'll just I'll point up point out to you what some of the issues are that you're going to have. So one of the issues you're going to have, let's say earlier I searched for a blueberry and I found blueberry pictures. I've, I used my filter for being large. This one says it's 998 by 1000. So right near a million pixels. And I'm going to right click on it. And what you'll do is go to save image as and it will open up your file explorer. There's an issue that I have here though. Uh, if you see right here, it says save as type. This says web P file. That happens occasionally. You don't, you can't anticipate when it's going to happen, but if you have a WebP file, uh, you won't be able to download and utilize it. Okay, it's just a web address for a file, which doesn't work. So try to avoid WebP files. Uh, you want files that are called PNGs. So if you see PNG here, or if you see JPEG or JPG, those are the files that you want. Okay, uh, other issues that you might have and might come across would be like I have here, I search for images of single blueberries, and you'll notice that right here it says the word can stock across it. This is called a watermark. It makes it so that you can't utilize it for your own photo editing very easily anyways. Uh, please, 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 when you're doing searches for images that you wanna use, avoid watermarks in all cases. So you'll even see here, this blueberry says Alamy across it. So they're trying to copyright protect that. This one here has some swirls and says dreams time. So avoid watermarks. Okay. Uh, a third issue that you're going to come across is even if you think you've got a high res image, no watermarks, and it's going, it's not going to be a WebP file is sometimes, even though it says it's going to be a large image, it is not going to be. Uh, and this happens very occasionally, but you'll notice here that this strawberry says that it is 4,455 by 6,000 pixels. It isn't. Uh, and I know that because the, it looks like the thumbnail. It's no bigger. Uh, if I go to these other images, see how much larger they take the entire width? Well, this guy here looks small still. I can even go ahead and download it, and I'll just show you here. If I download that image, 
and I go into the properties of that image, you'll notice pretty quickly, so here's the properties, even though it says it's 4,455, uh, the details here say that this is only a 193 by 261 pixel image. So those are all the things to avoid. Avoid WebP files, avoid when images say that they're large when they're actually not, you're downloading the thumbnail, and also avoid watermarks, okay? And here's what to do. Uh, so let's say I wanna get an image. I've got my strawberry, it looks good, and here's the image. All you need to do is right click on it, go to save image as, and the important thing is that you put it in a reasonable location. So if you don't have a location uh, set up, you might want to, to stay organized, set up an actual location for it. Uh, if you're in school, that's your H drive. Uh, since I'm not at school right now, I made a folder in my C drive called Food Face. And you might want to even give it a good name. So I'm going to call this Strawberry Bush. Okay? So it's Strawberry Bush. It's going into a actual good location. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And there we go. I've now saved it. You'll also see here that if you don't know where it went, you start getting this menu down at the bottom that you can actually go show in folder and find that file and save it where you'd actually like the location to be. Uh, the last thing I'd like to talk about is uh, PNGs or transparent images. Sometimes that's really helpful. I'm going to show you what a transparent image is, what a PNG is, and how you can also search for it. So I was doing a watermelon search. And I just wanted just, just a slice of watermelon, and that was it. I didn't want anything else around it. Uh, sometimes these searches are difficult, uh, but the one thing you need to know is if you'd like to do that type of search, what you do is right beside the size, there's a drop-down menu called Color, and you can change it to Transparent. And what Transparent tries to ensure is that the background of that image is, just like it says, transparent. So if you look at this photo here, this watermelon, this is the one that I wanted. When I open it up, the thumbnail or the uh, image here has a white and gray checkerboard. In some, uh, in some modes, it'll have a black and gray checkerboard, but that means that those are probably transparent pixels. Uh, it says that it's nice and large, so I'm gonna right click, go to save image as. Another indicator that it is probably a uh, transparent background is it says PNG file here, so I'm gonna put it in my, put the watermelon into that file. And there we go. And if I bring that, I'm just gonna show you what it is. If I bring that into Photoshop, what you'll notice is that that watermelon image actually has a transparent background. So anything that isn't the watermelon slice is completely transparent, which can be helpful in some cases. Uh, so that's how to do Google image searches and uh, how to save carefully and some of the things that you're gonna come up against.